Hello, welcome to Storytime. My name is with Hannah and I am with the Boulder Public Library and today we are going to be reading two books about winter. So get on your coziest hats and get ready to read some cold weather books. But first, we're going to sing a song. We're going to sing our hello song with this ukulele. So please sing along. This song is called When Ducks Get Up in the Morning. When ducks get up in the morning, they always say good day. When ducks get up in the morning, they always say good day. They say quack, 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 that is what they say. They say quack, 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 that is what they say. When bears get up in the morning, they always say good day. When bears get up in the morning, they always say good day. What do bears say? That's right, they say rar 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 rar, that is what they say. They say rar 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 rar, that is what they say. When dogs get up in the morning, they always say good day. When dogs get up in the morning, they always say good day. What do dogs say? That's right, they say woof 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 woof, that is what they say. They say woof 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 woof, that is what they say. All right, last one. When kids get up in the morning, they always say good day. When kids get up in the morning, they always say good day. What do kids say? What do you say when you get up in the morning? Do you say good morning? That's a good thing to say when you get up. Let's try that one. They say good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. That is what they say. They say good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. That is what they say. Thank you for singing along with me. We'll bring the ukulele back out in a little bit, but right now we are going to read the first book and it is called Bear Snores On. It is by Karma Wilson and illustrated by Jane Chapman and read with permission from Simon & Schuster Publishing. In a cave in the woods, in his deep dark lair, through the long cold winter sleeps a great brown bear. Cuddled in a heap with his eyes shut tight, he sleeps through the day, he sleeps through the night. The cold winds howl and the night sounds growl, but the bear snores on. Can everyone do a big snore? There's a lot of snoring in this book, so get ready. Get ready, because every time Bear snores, we're gonna snore with him. An itty bitty mouse, pitter patter, tiptoe, creep crawls in the cave from the fluff cold snow. Mouse squeaks, too damp, too dank, too dark. So he lights wee twigs with a small hot spark. The coals pit pop and the wind doesn't stop, but the bear snores on. Everyone do a snore. <sniffs> Two glowing eyes sneak peek in the den. Mouse cries, who's there? And a hare hops in. Ho, mouse, says hare, long time no see. So they pop white corn and they brew black tea. Mouse sips, we slurps. Hare burps, big burps. But the bear snores on. Everybody snore. <sniffs> A badger scuttles by, sniffs snuffs at the air. I smell yummy yums, perhaps we can share. I've brought honey nuts, badger says with a grin. Let's divvy them up, cozy down and dig in. And they nibble and they munch with a chew, chomp, crunch. But the bear snores on. A gopher and a mole tunnel up through the floor. Then a wren and a raven flutter in through the door. Mole mutters, what a night. What a storm, twitters wren. And everybody clutters in the great bear's den. They tweet and they titter, they chat and they chitter, but the bear snores on. Shh. 
in a cave in the woods, a slumbering bear sleeps through the party in his very own lair. Hare strokes the fire, mouse seasons stew, then a small pepper fleck makes the bear a chew. He blows and he sneezes and the whole crowd freezes. And the bear wakes up. Bear gnarls and he snarls. Bear roars and he rumbles. Bear jumps and he stomps. Bear growls and he grumbles. You've snuck in my lair and you've had all the fun. But me, I was sleeping and I've had none. And he whimpers and he moans. He wails and he groans and the bear blubbers on. Mouse squeaks, don't fret, don't fuss. Look, see, we can pop more corn. We can brew more tea. Bear gulps, bear gobbles. He sighs with delight. Then he spins tall tails through the blustery night. When the sun peeks up on a crisp, clear dawn, bear can't sleep. But his friends snore on. The end. All right, are we ready for another song? This is a song not just about snow, but about all kinds of weather. It's a traditional song. It's called, If All the Raindrops. So sing along with me if you know the words. If all the raindrops were lemon drops and gum drops, oh, what a world it would be. I'd stand outside with my mouth open wide going ah, 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 ah. If all the raindrops were lemon drops and gum drops, oh, what a world it would be. Next one is about snowflakes. If all the snowflakes were candy bars and milkshakes, oh, what a world it would be. I'd stand outside with my mouth open wide, going ah, bars and milkshakes. Oh, what a world it would be. Next one is sunbeams. If all the sunbeams were bubble gum and ice cream, oh, what a world it would be. I'd stand outside with my mouth open wide, going ah, 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 ah. If all the sunbeams were bubble gum and ice cream, oh, what a world it would be. Let's do the snow verse one more time for winter. Here we go. If all the snowflakes were candy bars and milkshakes, oh, what a world it would be. I'd stand outside with my mouth open wide. I wouldn't care if I ever went inside. If all the snowflakes were candy bars and milkshakes, oh, what a world it would be. That would be quite a world, wouldn't it? I don't know about you, but I like the snow. I think it's nice to go, it's fun to go out and play in the snow and build snowmen and maybe do some sledding. This book is called In the Snow. It is by Elizabeth Spur and illustrated by Manel Oliphant. And it is read with permission from Peachtree Publishing Company Incorporated. Clouds glide over the hills. Snow falls. All is still. Open window, shout hooray! Dash outside, time to play! Slide on puddles, frozen slick. Draw a picture with a stick. Build a snowman, big and round. Drag the sled over mounds. Race downhill, tumble, crash! Jolly snowman, all smashed. Oops. Make an angel in the snow. 
Sun is setting. Time to go. The end. Thank you for joining me at Storytime today in reading books about winter. We're going to sing our goodbye song and then you can go and get all cozy and read some more books, sing some more songs. This last song is our goodbye song and it's to the tune of If You're Happy and You Know It, but I'm going to sing some new things all about winter. This is a fun song that you can customize to do with whatever you're doing or wherever you're going because you know the words already so you can make up your own words. Here we go. If you're happy and you know it, make a shiver, burr. If you're happy and you know it, make a shiver, burr. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, make a shiver, burr. If you're happy and you know it, pat your hat, if you're happy and you know it, pat your hat. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, pat your hat. If you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye. But like you're wearing a mitten, goodbye. If you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye with your mitten, goodbye. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you for joining me at Storytime. Enjoy your wintry day, and I will see you next time.